There is more fallout after the federal government's order to close down TikTok's Toronto and Vancouver offices. As CTV's Isabella Zavarez reports, industry insiders say the decision will mean more uncertainty for local creators who rely on the platform to make a living. It's... Known for its entertaining videos, TikTok has over 1 billion users. Despite its popularity, the federal government has ordered the company to shutter its Canadian operations following a security review. We came to the conclusion that the activities, that the activities conducted at the offices of TikTok in Toronto and in Vancouver would be injurious to our national security. Minister Francois-Philippe Champagne didn't elaborate on details behind the security concerns. Users can still access the video sharing app. If you want a gorgeous bed with storage, this bed is it. TikTok has become a natural fit for brands as they look to content creators to sell their products. But one local creator thinks the Fed's decision could force a pivot to other platforms. I would say that a lot of creators aren't going to put as much time and effort into the app anymore. Aaron Souza says financial opportunities for Canadian creators are already limited. Canadians don't have access to TikTok Shop or the Creator Fund, a feature that monetizes content. It seems like if Canada is almost ramping down, creators won't be getting the same opportunities that our American counterparts have. It just feels like kind of the wrong move. Scott Keith, the CEO of a Canadian advertising agency, says he would have liked government engagement prior to the decision. Why are they actually doing this? When they just say, hey, we're going to shut this down because of a security issue, you know, it just doesn't really feel Canadian. TikTok says, quote, shutting down TikTok's Canadian offices and destroying hundreds of well-paying local jobs is not in anyone's best interest and adds it will challenge the order in court. Isabella Zavarisi, CTV News, Vancouver.